In 6a, we are to describe how a stationary wave is different from a progressive wave. Well, stationary waves have no net energy transfer, and all different points on the wave have different amplitudes, giving nodes and antinodes. Progressive waves do have a net energy transfer, and all points along the wave have the same amplitude. In B, we have an investigation into the speed of sound and stationary waves in tubes, and we're asked to use our knowledge and understanding of stationary waves to explain the observations given, including how we could determine an experimental value for the speed of sound in air. Well, the incident wave will reflect off both open and closed ends of a tube, with the reflecting wave having the same wavelength as the incident wave. The incident and reflecting waves will interfere. This leads to areas of maximum displacement, or antinodes, where the waves meet in phase and constructively interfere, and areas of zero displacement, or nodes, where the waves meet in antiphase and destructively interfere. There's always an antinode at an open end, with the particles having maximum range parallel to the pipe, and a node at a closed end. The fundamental frequency is the lowest frequency that will produce a standing wave, which, in a pipe closed at one end, forms a one quarter of a complete wave in the pipe. We can get odd multiples of the fundamental frequency, which will also produce standing or stationary waves, or harmonics. The fundamental frequency in a pipe open at both ends forms half a complete wave in the pipe, and all multiples of this frequency will produce harmonics. As a further explanation, here are the six pipes involved. We have the three frequencies of the pipe closed at one end, the three frequencies of the pipe open at both ends. All of the pipes are 65 centimetres long, and here we have the fundamental frequency with a quarter of a wave in there, so 65 centimetres is lambda over 4, giving lambda as 2.6 metres. We know that wave speed is frequency times wavelength, and if we do 2.6 metres times 130 hertz, we get 338 metres per second. Three times the fundamental frequency gives this arrangement, with three quarters of a wave in the pipe, we get a wavelength of 0.87 metres, and again 338 metres per second, and then with five times the fundamental frequency, we get a wavelength of 0.52 metres, the same speed. With the pipe open at both ends, we have an antinode at both ends. The fundamental frequency contains half a wave, so the wavelength is 1.30 meters. We still get 338 meters per second if we do frequency times wavelength. And here with twice the fundamental frequency and three times the fundamental frequency.